All right, we are back. I'm probably going to finish this one today. I'm just going to hit continue, and I believe I was lost. I was lost looking for these fuses. But then after thinking about it, I kind of realized that I think I missed a door somewhere. I think I missed this door. Right? I do believe this is a path I haven't taken yet. Ah! And I also missed that guy's face. Let's change to a shotgun here. Alright, he's down. Kind of a waste of ammo there. Oh well. And that's the final fuse. It was that easy. Uh, we haven't cleared the whole place though. So I must have missed an item somewhere. Unless I need to just input the fuses. I don't care though. We'll just go do that now. So, is there anything I want to bring or craft before we go? I'm currently holding explosive rounds for this. Kind of low on... on ammo. Let's take out these. Make some more shotgun shells. Combined with explosive beer, make flame rounds. I haven't even tested the uh, acid rounds yet. Hmm. Let's take one more healing item. And bring the mines. I don't want to craft yet. I'm also going to bring my mag ammo. I have a feeling this feels like a, a boss fight coming up, but I'm not sure. I'm going to bring some extra stuff for that. Oh, these guys get up now. That's that's nice. Good thing I crafted some shotgun shells. Let's use the fuse. Yeah, there's still something I haven't collected in this room, but whatever. We're moving on. Shit, he got away. <laughs> he got away. <laughs> All right. I guess we're not we're not doing a boss fight just yet. Extended barrel for the mag. Nice. Well, I could craft some more ammunition, namely explosive or flame. I mean, I get more value if I use both of the types. Just make a bunch of flame rounds, probably. They'll come in handy if we get fish friends.
And let's craft even more shotgun shells. I really like the shotgun in this game. Is there anything here to interact with at all? Oh, there it is. Unfinished activity log. Infiltrated RC disturbances are sporadic. Commencing mission. Observed five RPD officers engaging a pack of 20 strong. Officers annihilated in 20 minutes. Test run at university. Hey, Court of Last Dark, good morning. Diverted pack, including canines, to campus. 64% infection and conversion in two hours. No survivors. Successful rendezvous with MV platoon. We'll make first attempt at dawn. Uh, diverted pack towards command post. Result, night skirmish and confined area with large number of combatants. Video attached. Where's the video? Give me the video. End of skirmish, seven survivors. Unknown bioweapon deployed at point D18, tracking it per orders. It appears to be on the hunt. Got eyes on two stars, a male infected and a female. Bioweapon is pursuing the female. Female G JV, Jill Valentine, has made contact with... MV Platoon. Bioweapons appearance and behavior are consistent with Project Nemesis investigating. I assume that's Project Nemesis. Observed bioweapon wielding conventional weapons. It seems to be strongly fixated on terminating Jill Valentine and knows the city layout. Evidence? It can be imprinted. Metamorphosis in the bioweapon triggered by a hostile encounter with JV. Video attached. JV has been infected and is non-responsive. Collected samples per orders. Over 17 hours have elapsed since JV's exposure to virus. Conversion has been slow, suggest suggesting she may be resistant. Vaccine recovered and administered to JV by CO. A soldier in MV platoon. JV expected to be fit for combat approximately 20 hours post-exposure. It seems clear the bioweapon is Project N. What? It seems clear the bioweapon is Project N. Contact with JV causes it to change and evolve. Will induce further encounters to obtain more precise data. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Oh. They'll call off the strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. All right. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. Jill is refusing to run faster than this. Sure you don't need to stop? Stop and do what? I got your back. All right, let's get this done. Oh, 
here he comes. Wow. Another nemesis encounter, I guess. I liked him better when he looked like... When he looked more like a large person. I don't like this final nemesis form. Uh, let me check this guy. Not yet. So I don't have whatever I need to open that. Gunpowder. More text. All right. Attention Nest 2 employees. The objectives of this T-Virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main Nest facility. Here we focus on real world use cases which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T-virus vac vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it's imperative that all employees adhere to workplace regulations without fail, in particular unauthorized entry by unapproved visitors or the, re the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary measures. It is a great honor to be part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new and revolutionary technologies. Wow. Oh, it includes a map. I see. Green herb over there. Well, I'm going to store that for now and this as well. I don't know if I need to be carrying this much crap with me. We are at caution. I might just eat one green herb. Just chew on it. Get up to fine. I'll make another save here and then just run out here. I guess we can only go up here. Huh. Yep, thought so. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna use some of my handgun ammo here. Oh, he wasn't done. Now he's done. We'll do that. Commence stabbing. Now he's done. More handgun ammo. Alright. What is this? Isaac Graves' diary. The pay was generous, the benefits were good. Most importantly, they promised me I'd be contributing to the state-of-the-art medical tech research. For a univers university teacher stuck working in Nowhere America, it was a golden opportunity, like winning the lottery. So I went for it. I made the pitch to my family, and we agreed to move here to Raccoon City. Well, hindsight is twenty twenty because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life 
in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up. The world needs to know. But every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Penny and Casey and immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him. I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into this. I just need to do my job. Do as I'm told for their sake. But let this be testament to... Let this be testament that I do have a conscience and that I've learned my lesson. Alright. Uh, we didn't, didn't actually find an ID badge or anything though. And that path is blocked off. I'll go down here. Wait, this is where I came from. Hmm, huh. I guess I must have missed something up here then. Even though it's blue. Alright, never went to the end of this hallway, I guess. Yeah. What about you? You're having your uh, plot nap. It's very deep. This one is also plot napping. But I have a feeling these guys will get up at some point. Hey, you there. Yeah, you, fishy fella. Hey, Dingo Breakfast. To begin vaccine synthesis, place the materials in the chamber. Uh, alright. Synthesis? I have to make it myself? Alright, gotta figure this out. Essay on vaccine synthesis. On the roles of antigens and adjuvants in vaccine synthesis. Dr. Beth Nathaniel Bard, Chief Researcher, Spencer Memorial Hospital. To efficiently synth synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and an adjuvant are required. The antigen produces an immune response, while the adjuvant increases the effects of such responses, leading to increased antibody production. By combining samples of these two ingredients, one can create a potent vaccine base. By processing this vaccine base with our proprietary equipment, a larger batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and adjuvant samples yield unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than 1,000 times the yield of traditional materials. This not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also a pot potential way to eliminate existing inf infections. Alright. Uh, any ID badges around here? Override key successfully generated. What have we here? Override I think my key removed. I think my inventory is full though. It is. Hmm. I can't really. I don't want to throw away any of this. I'm gonna have to stash something, though. Let's go back to the box. Stash something, come back upstairs. Grab the key.
You know what? I think I'll be fine without the grenade launcher for now. How does a gun on a sling use two slots of pocket space? I know, right? For for the longest time, my my Glock was larger than my shotgun as well, until I got uh, another attachment to the shotgun. <laughs> it makes no sense whatsoever. I'm actually going to store my spare mag ammo. Also. And this. Uh, right. When I grab this, I'm guessing something bad will happen. Maybe not. Now we can get in here. Did that consume it? It consumed it, really? He's down. I see you though. Don't like the look of him. Oh no, there's two of them. And there's another one. I should reload. <laughs> down. There's another one. I think they're down, though. Alright, he needs to stop smoking. That's when we know he's dead. We got some convenient shotgun shells there. Although I am running low already. What is that? Scientists dying message. It happened, our worst case scenario. The T-virus has somehow leaked. Under orders from Dr. Bard, I'm to manufacture mass quantities of the vaccine. I've prepared a culture of the T-virus antigen now I just need to combine it with an adjuvant to enhance its effects. And I should be able to produce enough vaccine to save all the surviving citizens. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is sore. The adjuvant samples are stored in the incubation lab. Test subjects are already wandering the halls. But I'd better, better find a way to get some samples while this culture is maturing. If I don't make it back, please complete the synthesis process. Try to find a way to stop this outbreak. It's the least we can do after setting these horrifying effects events in motion. Right, he's not getting up yet. I'll combine the red and green. More gunpowder. He's plot napping. Insert 
Power. Isn't sore throat the first sign of T-virus? Yep. I've been infected. This must be what powers it. That should motivate me to make the vaccine, though. What? I just got a crit. And it made the whole screen blurry. Are you done, sir? No, not done yet. It's just comical how many stabs they can take. Kind of ridiculous. What's in the box? First aid spray. I don't need that much healing right now. Let's check out this door. Oh no. There's so many nemeses. Yikes. These are tyrants. Tyrants, okay. Not nemeses. Can we destroy this, please? I would like to destroy this room. Rig it to blow. Plot map. Ugh. Shit, okay, um... That was a good dodge, though. But, um, we need to deal with the tentacle, dude. Hey, Alex. Yeah, RE2 flashbacks, indeed. Is he down? I think he's down. Oh, I thought I dodged it. Now I did. Alright, that was a lot of shotgun shells. I'll just... We have so much healing. And so little space. I think I'll just eat uh, a healing item if I run out of space here. Just to make room. You're up, okay. Your knee is gonna be so sore. Are you done? No, nope, you're not done. Now you're done. Alright, we should just make more um, flame rounds. Those were explosive rounds. Ah, I combined the wrong ones. Rip. Peak gameplay, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, the fact that you you need to stab them so many times is kind of off-putting. It doesn't really. These are combined antigens to increase immune system response. It doesn't really add anything of value to the game having to do it like that, having to keep stabbing them. How many stabs can you take in the cough, zombies? Yes, I am. Expression of concern. Senior fellow Dr. Frankel, please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Europe for completing Nemesis. 
a truly remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapons research, introducing a parasitic organism into a tyrant's brain to gain external control of it? How can I not marvel at such a wild idea? However, from a medical perspective, I must emphatically state my disapproval of this shift away from established umbrella policy. By turning to the use of parasites, you're getting a danger you're setting a dangerous precedent. Viruses can be kept in check. I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on earth with an abundant with abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course. Can you say the same for parasites, however? Doctors have tried in vain to develop a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like Plasmodium are far more genetically complex than the, the T-virus, and to think they will submit to control is utter folly. Perhaps in your country, consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes, but here in America, they know better. <laughs> then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. I look forward to your talk at the forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this hubristic problem you've foisted on us. Sincerely, Nathaniel Bard. So it's called the Nemesis. Yeah, Jill, it's called the Nemesis. <laughs> Wait, is this the first time we actually see the name Nemesis in a note? I could have sworn we saw it earlier. Maybe they just referred to it as N in the past. Or the creature. Alright, so we are low on space. I feel like one of these is going to break out, almost certainly. Let's equip the Magnum. Two of them, actually. Three of them, actually. Oh shit, okay, shotgun time. One more. Oh, we got him. The Magnum was pretty good there. Uh, that actually went better than expected, honestly. Hang on. As I'm playing RE series, I wonder if you would consider playing Alan Wake, maybe, but I still have plenty of, um, plenty of RE games left to play. Wait, there's an item in here, in this room, somewhere. I'll probably get the new Alan Wake game on sale if if it goes on sale at some point, but this is the type of game I don't want to pay I don't want to pay full price for because you essentially only play through them once usually. It doesn't have the the best replay value. Huh, I've no idea where that Oh never mind, it was upstairs. Oh, there it is. It was a white box. Acid rounds. Aw. Well, in that case, we can combine these to make more acid. Free up some space. I'm really low on ammo on the, the weapons I brought with me, so I need to go to a box and get some more ammo. I 
I think at this point I just use a healing spray here. Might as well store this for now. Hmm. I'll take out the mag ammo and then reload it and stash the, the bullets. Because I want to have some extra space. It's really unfortunate that I'm so low on shotgun right now. Uh, you know what? We can make more. The shotgun is pretty much my best weapon. I don't need three healing items on me. In fact, I only need one right now. I'll probably find more anyway. Mm, I'll s I'll try the acid rounds. I haven't tested them in this game yet. They were kind of underwhelming in the other one. Uh, this this layout is confusing. What if I just bring this? I, d I need the other one as well, but I'll just bring this for now up to the lab. Or up to the vaccine equipment. Maybe I can leave that here for now. wrong or I'm missing a step. Aw. Alright, I guess I'm missing a step. I could have sworn there was another locked door like this one farther back. Let's try and find that. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm locked in here. Oh, nice. We got decontaminated here. Cool. That's a step I'm missing. Culture oh, sample. sample. Alright, let's do pistols for this one. Nice crit. That one's not getting up. Peak RE3 gameplay here. Weaponry authorization request. Dear Dr. Emerson, I would like to formally request that the weaponry normally reserved for the bioweapon synthesis team be made available for any employees interfacing with the admission and dismissal of test subjects. 
These test subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that this weaponry authorization is advisable as outlined below. Recently, some test subjects have developed a new mutation, granting them very high regrowth abilities. Just succumb to your stat points already, yeah. Our team refers to these specimens as pale heads. They have been appearing with regularity, but the specific cause has not yet been determined. The astonishing rate at which these pale heads regenerate makes it difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. If any sort of system failure were to occur within our facility, we would be woefully underprepared to defend ourselves. For this reason, I would like to request that high-powered weaponry capable of subduing pale heads be issued to all of our employees working in shipping and processing. This will ensure that in the event of an emergency, we will be able to quickly eliminate the, th the threat and evacuate safely. Thank you very much for your consideration, Shipping and Processing Manager Gabrielle Reed. I guess that's the... That's probably referring to the... The naked dudes that have smoke coming out of them, they probably regenerate. So I need to dump a lot of damage in them quickly to kill them. Until they stop smoking. Oh, hello. But these ones appear to be dead. I missed something down here as well. Shipping notice. Hello? Hey, Webster. Cargo, Nemesis. Shipping routes. CDG, JFK, RC. CDG. That's probably Charles de Gaulle. Wait, maybe not. What do you think, Cordo? Is that is that the airport code for uh, for the Paris airport? Wait, is that a Paris airport, or am I just getting things mixed up? I might be losing my mind. I don't know. It is okay. Good. I'm not losing my mind. Class 1 hazardous materials, additional notes. All transit within the United States is to be made via helicopter. Take extreme care during cake... cake off. <laughs> I need a cake off right now. Give me a cake off. During takeoff and landing. A shock to the parcel may potentially lead to self-activation. We heard that European... European branch are excited to hear your thoughts and evaluation of this newest prototype and are pleased to offer the specimen to you for testing. It has been through numerous trials and poss possesses incredible destructive power, so please exercise extreme caution when using it. Lead developer, Dr. Herman Frankel. All right, Herman. We will be careful. Ah, where'd you come from? The plot spawn. What a cheater. This room was clear. Mmm. Kind of low on shotgun shells, but I'll do it. He's still smoking. Never mind, he's not. He's down. I don't like these plot spawns. Alright, we will reload. Store that. Store that. Mm. How are we doing on the other thing? Oh, we don't have any more explosives. You know what? I'm gonna bring all of these. 
and another first aid. This definitely smells like an uh, incoming boss fight. Maybe save the game as well. Can I get another one of these? No. I don't think I can use any more of them anyway, but it was worth a try. So this puzzle is just gonna be to insert them in the right order, I guess? Oh, maybe not. Combine them? Oh. Wait. Low, low, low. Adjust. Mid. Mid. Interesting. That increases the left one by a lot, and the other one's by 10. That increases them all by 10. Oh, never mind. It's not the same every time. Hmm. I am puzzled by this puzzle. Well, the answer was mid, mid, left, I guess. <laughs> it didn't feel like a puzzle, it felt more like me just randomly hitting buttons. Because it was... It was doing something different every time. Oh, it was doing something different on the second press of the same button. I don't really know what the pattern was. There we go. Jill was so happy about getting that vaccine, and now we're just gonna get destroyed by Nemesis, aren't we? Wait. Oh, we crawl through this vent, I guess. I need to press W. Very important. Such gameplay. Do I need to hold it? I need to hold it. I was tapping it. So it's even dumber than I thought it was. I was trying to tap it to 
to move faster, but I can just hold it. <laughs> wow. Such gameplay. Hey, you there. Yeah, you, fishy fella. Hey, broken one. Right, I'm just gonna eat that. Store that. Hmm. I keep thinking there's gonna be an actual boss fight where I can do something. But so far, I've just been put into um, silly quick time events. It might be time to put the handgun away. Just to make some room for all these grenade rounds and mag ammo. I think I'll do that. And some shotgun shells as well, actually. No, don't store them. Take them out. That is a lot of grenade launcher ammo. Okay, so this time I'm going to assume that there's a real boss fight coming because we got so much ammo delivered to our face there. I'll be very surprised if this just leads to more uh, stalling. Oh, what is this? Disposal Center. Disposal Center Protocols. This facility is to be used for the dissolution and disposal of test subjects in Nest 2 experiments. The potent solvents used used will ensure that any biological matter within the vats, living or dead, is completely dissolved and ready for disposal. Please follow all safety protocols when using the disposal center. Always confirm that no employees are in the chamber before beginning the dissolution process. Always use regulated, the regulated amount of solvent, regardless of volume or mass being disposed of. If a test subject reacts violently, do not halt the disposal process. Leave the chamber filled for at least 12 hours, then check for complete dissolution before draining. I did just save, right? Yeah, I did. What in God's name is this place? This is a boss arena. It has to be. Bonk. Don't drop the vaccine. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Nikolai, don't! The city needs that vaccine! More than I do. I don't think the wisdom I've been trying to impart on you is getting true. Now I know you can't put a price on life. But I'm in this business to get paid. So let's make a deal. You go down there, battle the nemesis, and I'll record it all and sell the combat out. Put on a good show, and maybe I don't need the vaccine. Agreed? Good. Ah! Ah! 
Bonk. All right, Nemesis, let's battle. Uh, I cannot enter my inventory. What is that? Oh, now we can. It wasn't letting me use tab to enter inventory. Ow. I think maybe I should be doing something else here. I should have brought my handgun. Damn. It feels like I'm supposed to be using these things and dropping acid or whatever that is on him. But maybe I'll just try using all my ammo on him and see what happens. If it doesn't work, we can load. Wait, I dodged. Oh, uh, all right. Jill, is that you? Carlos? You're okay. Let me spot for you. Good idea. Let me spot for you? What? Oh, now we have small people, too. He's hiding behind tank six. Tank six. All right. He's behind number six. Oh, I see. That's how he can spot for me. Let me shotgun this the zombie. He's hiding behind Take eight. I don't actually need you to spot for me. I can see him. <laughs> I saw him go that way. Whoa, where'd you come from? That was a mistake. He bonked the zombie. Let me switch to acid rounds here real quick. What? That didn't do anything. Alright. Maybe flame rounds are better here. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I've used most of my grenades at this point. I'll save the last two grenades for shooting tanks, I guess. That was a dodge. I don't care for your bullshit game. Here, come go. That was a dodge. Oh, I should be saving those. I am legitimately very low on ammo. 
What? That's cheating. We have shotgun ammo. The shotgun doesn't do much damage at that range, though. Alright, I'm gonna load my manual save. Because now I know what the fight is like, and I should be bringing... more of something, at least. Let's see. I should probably just bring my handgun as well. Just so we can shoot... I think we can shoot the tanks with the handgun if we aim precisely. Oh, it's too large. I can't take it out. Uh, the knife is not it's very useful here. I really shouldn't need more than than one healing item. I need all the guns I can get. What in God's name is this place? <gasps> that was a dodge. Come on, game. Oh shit, there's stuff here. Oh, I didn't know that. There's stuff in these piles. Could have gotten more healing. What is that? Ah, oh, come on. Jill, is that you? Carlos? I should turn on auto-reload again. I've turned it off because I wanted to completely use my pistol ammo and dump the pistol when I got two different pistols earlier. Let's turn it back on. Oh, I missed. We're fine. Alright, so let's loot some stuff. Come out and play, shitbird. Where was he this time? I wasn't paying attention. He's hiding behind take seven. No! I was too slow this time. Thanks, Carlos. You're you're useless. Could have told me that a bit sooner. Hold on. Hey, Nixon Fitzpatrick, thank you for the raids. Hello, Jotes. Welcome in, Raiders. I think we're in the final boss fight of this game right now. Number four. Jotes sent you. Nice. I appreciate that. 
Ooh. That was a dodge. Don't bullshit me, game. Okay. How is that a dodge, but the previous one wasn't? I think the worst part about this game is having to use this dodge mechanic that seems very unreliable. What if I shoot this now? Is he close enough? No. He needs to be on top of it. And there's no more healing items now. Okay. Here comes some more. I've used them all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's use a magnum. Uh, hang on. Game is fun, though. I know many people didn't like the changes. Yeah, I've never played the originals for any of the games. I'm just playing the remakes. But I agree. The, the game plays great, just like the RE2 remake. I just don't like the dodge mechanic at all. And I don't know how much of the story was changed or missing, but I heard they kind of messed that part up. Cause I, but I, like I said, I haven't played the original. Got, some three. Got him this time. Well, no, I'm getting... I'm getting bitten by a normal zombie during this boss fight. I'm so dead. Is that it? Surely not. This is on max difficulty? No, it's standard. I never play games on max difficulty for when I do the first playthrough. I'm not that much of a masochist. Hey, don't tell me what what is left. <laughs> the final boss in this game is such a pain in the ass. Surely he's gone now. Okay, I'll meet you up ahead. Nikolai, where did you go? Defeat stage two nemesis. I have to get that Aww. vaccine back. I was hoping that was the final boss. Gunpowder. What else was here? Weapon spec sheets. Ferromagnetic infantry use next generation railgun development codename Finger. <laughs> what a name. Behind every giant monster is an evil, evil cackling schemer. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Sakari. Nest to lead the lead researcher Cornwall Garner, assisting developer, United States Army. Ammo caliber 60 millimeter. That's pretty large. Muzzle velocity 6,000 meters per second. Project objective: suppression of new bioweapons in case of outbreak. Additional notes. Extreme power firepower provides the secondary benefit of completely obliterating the target, leaving no trace behind. User feedback. This thing is totally rad. Tyrants out of line, just give him the finger and prog 
Problem solved. Packs the firepower we need. It would be even better if there was a way to control the output. Mobility may prove to be problematic in the field. Perhaps its platform could be refined. It requires multiple power sources. May be difficult to secure in practice. Could you consolidate into... Consolidate to a single power source. Alright, so... Apparently... We're gonna get some kind of super weapon... For the boss fight. I've really burned through my resources, though. Yikes. I can make more handgun ammo, but I don't think that's going to be very useful against the Nemesis. I'll make a save on number three here. I have one mag bullet left. Nice big empty room. Yeah, I wonder what this room could be. <laughs> it's done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You, print money. I like her. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun. What the hell? We are fighting the blob. From that old movie. Have you... Have you ever seen anything so incredible? The data on this would be worth millions. But... Well... You know how it is. City's about to explode. And you can't put a price on life. <laughs> Good luck! Nikolai! Joe. Hey, Popo. Go after Nikolai. He's got the vaccine. What about you? We're running out of time. I've got this. I know you do. I don't feel confident about this at all with my current ammunition. This is the last fucking time. It better be the last time, Jesus. What is that? Oh, hello. Pew. And now it's unpowered. All right. I see how this is going to work. Okay. Damn, it needs power. I should have brought more healing items. If we fail this, we'll just go back and fill our inventory with healing. Felt that, did you? Ow! I didn't even see that. I'm gonna heal. Resident Final Fantasy Evil. <laughs> uh, what do I have? I don't really have anything that's good here. Hey, Kadank. That is slow. That is really slow. Alright. Holy crap, that is slow. See, this is where I should have had my mag ammo, I think, for taking out those pustules. Oh, I didn't even see it. Yeah, I really should have filled my inventory with healing items. What? He fell on me. <laughs> All 
Power right. Let's let's give him a shot. Big gun, yeah. Unfortunately, oh, hello. Unfortunately, it needs to be recharged every so often. Wow. Wait. That was it. Good riddance. Remember this being harder? Oh, well, he only took two shots from that, and twice I had to get him to to chill so I could push these power sources in. But maybe he's much harder on hardcore, I don't know. I don't intend to find out. Oh, there was handgun ammo here. Yeah, if he one-shots you, then you have to use the obnoxiously bad dodge mechanic instead of just tanking it with healing items, I guess. And I hate that dodge mechanic. It is atrocious. Ooh, I've made a nice path here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I've got so much handgun ammo at this point. No info. There's no map. Hey, you there. Yeah, you, fishy fella. Oh, no. Hey, Argon. Remember reading on Reddit that it took s some people like 20 hours? Really? <laughs> You're not going to stop. Promised you this, didn't I? No! Do you have any idea what you've just done? Just lick it off the floor, Jill. Oh, don't care. My client ordered me to reduce umbrella to rub. Ten minutes until missile ah. impact. The missile has launched. And that is my cue. Goodbye, Miss Valentine. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. Bonk. This is ridiculous. Carlos. I was aiming just for Nikolai's head. I wouldn't have hit Carlos there. I told you I couldn't leave you in a Carlos's world. That would just be too cruel. The cutscene made me hit his shoulder, though. That's not where I was aiming. What about him? Why'd you do it? Oh, I didn't hit Carlos either, and that's good. There's a price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. <laughs> Who are you working for? I'll tell you. If you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool! If I die, you'll never find out the truth. 
I don't mind a little detective work. Plot neck worse than armored neck, yeah. We shot him in the plot shoulder. Hey, it's gone cold. Well, they actually nuked it. Rip. Rip Raccoon City. Where am I gonna get my raccoon milk from now? It's finally over. So long, RC. I felt empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. All this death wasn't caused by Just lurking today, that's fine. Hope you're having a good day. It was greed. Human greed. <laughs> Human greed. I decided then and there, the ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes too. I would end them, once and for all. Wow. We get a monologue at the end. Right, I'm gonna skip that in case the music is DMCA. Ooh, nice 30 FPS cutscene. Oof. Alright. It took me 6 hours and 11 minutes, apparently. I saved 34 times and got a C rank. Oh well. It was my first playthrough. Human specifically, not raccoon, for example. Yeah, it wasn't raccoon greed that did this. Definitely not. <laughs> uh, I'm going to start on RE4 immediately, I think. I don't think this one is worth replaying. I just... It, it's not as good as RE2, in my opinion. RE2 Remake was definitely worth multiple playthroughs. But this one was kind of meh. Not even as the other guy. Wait, there's another guy? Shop has been unlocked. Points. Is there a new game plus on this too? I can use these points to make... Will gradually regenerate health when held. Alright, the shop is quite cool. <laughs> Apparently you can... You can buy items in this one. Hunk isn't playable in the remake. Hunk is playable in RE2. That's a bonus game mode in RE2, for sure. The remake. Carlos. Well, Carlos is playable in the remake, but only as a section of the main story. Like, you just switch between Jill and Carlos a couple of times. Uh... So we might return to this game to check out the shop and stuff at some point. Seems interesting, but I had my heart set on starting RE4 today. So after my break, I'm going to start RE4.